Good evening and welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Azar Zahid Karim. Let's take a look at our headlines. Protesters filed fundamental rights petition to remove police vehicles from Maina Gogama site. Dozen arrested for protesting near Parliament. Cardinal Ranjit returns from Vatican. Five locals nabbed with forged visas at Bandaranaika International Airport. Immigration and Immigration Department back to normal. Cabinet decision to provide relief package to low-income families. Now, diving into our lead stories. Two protesters today filed a fundamental rights petition in Supreme Court seeking an interim order against police to remove all police vehicles parked on the pavement along the protest site declared as the Minor Gogama, outside Temple Trees. The petitioners Shanika Silva and Iranga Gunasekara stated that on or around 26th of April 2022, the protesters set up the second main protest site in front of Temple Trees, the official residence of Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa. The protesters renamed the site as Maina Gogama. At least 12 persons who were protesting near Parliament had been arrested by the police a short while ago. The group of protesters were engaged in a protest along the Jayantipura Road near Parliament holding banners, supporting the no-confidence motion against the government. A tense situation also prevailed at the location after police arrested the protesters claiming that they had caused damage and were violating the rights of the MPs. A group of Catholic archbishops including the Archbishop of Colombo, His Eminence Cardinal Malcolm Ranjit arrived at the Katunayaka International Airport in the morning. They left for the Vatican on April 22nd on a special invitation from Pope Francis. Five Sri Lankans who attempted to leave for Italy using forged visas have been arrested at the Bandaranaika International Airport departure lounge by the Immigration and Immigration Department officers. A 45-year-old woman from Maravilla came to the airport last night along with her 14- and 18-year-old daughters to leave for Italy via Doha, Qatar. Due to suspicions pertaining to their visa documents, the woman and her daughters were detained by the immigration officials. The computer system broke down at the Immigration and Immigration Department has been restored and all its services have returned to normal. A department officer stated that the computer system malfunctioned suddenly and the public was advised not to visit the head office at Batramula yesterday. The cabinet that met on Monday has decided to provide a major relief package to low-income families who are distressed due to the current economic crisis in the country. Funded by a World Bank financial assistance program to the tune of Rs 13,364 million for the next three months. For further details on these stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. You're with me, Azar Zahid Karim. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup.